of Washington's most distinguished throngs is at the National Gallery of Art to welcome a distinguished visitor. President and Mrs. Kennedy with French cultural minister Andre Mulro and his wife pay homage to the first public appearance of Mona Lisa, the Leonardo da Vinci painting that has captured the fancy of generations for 400 years. The president expresses the gratification of the nation. Mr. Minister, we in the United States are grateful for this loan from the leading artistic power in the world, France. In view of the recent meeting at Nassau, I must note further that this painting has been kept under careful French control and that France has even sent along its own commander-in-chief, Monsieur Marot. And I want to make it clear that grateful as we are for this painting, we will continue to press ahead with the effort to develop an independent artistic force and power of our own. Scores of cameramen record the event as the presidential party leads a tribute to the lady who will play host to many, many thousands in the next three weeks. The enigmatic smile acts like a magnet to both art lovers and the curious. The next day, the gallery is jammed as the crowd passes by the painting four abreast. It is estimated by a curious statistician that each viewer has from three to five seconds in front of the painting. Some stand in line repeatedly for just one more glimpse of the smile that has launched a thousand arguments. The painting is being exhibited under stringent security measures and its wooden panels are protected from damage in a temperature humidity controlled case. Nearly 10,000 people filed by Mona Lisa the first day, making her by far the most popular hostess in Washington. Everybody wants to meet the new girl in town. <laughs> 